<laughs> that was a fantastic goose hunt. And you know, now it's time to bring it to the table. And a lot of times goose gets a bad rap, but it really shouldn't. It should not. Goose is a wonderful dish. You could have it as a side dish, main dish, but what we're doing, we're using it with bacon, put it in a stick, what can go wrong? Jerry, take Absolutely it away. Absolutely nothing. All right, show us. Now, before we start these wonderful kebabs, there's one thing you need to know about goose. That is an extremely lean meat. So we're gonna add the bacon to it to give it a nice compliment. Uh, to start off, I rendered out the, the water out of the goose breast by drying it in a nice, wonderful uh, paper towel. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you how to assemble these skewers. We've taken our goose and cubed them in about one inch cubes. I'm going ahead and uh, I'm gonna dust it lightly with our in-house smokehouse rub, which is basically a blend of brown sugar, ground chipotle, and ancho pepper, and just kind of lightly dust that. Now we wanna season the goose before we wrap it in the bacon, but then once we do, we go ahead and take our little meat chunk and do a nice little roll like so. Set that aside, do our next one. Roll it nice and tight. I'm gonna take our uh, bamboo skewer here and go ahead and poke it right through where the end meets so that way it won't fall apart. We'll go ahead and set this aside, get our pan ready and fry these babies up. I've gotten our pan nice and hot. I've added a little bit of oil because we do wanna fry these. Um, be very careful when you let this guy in because it's about 360 degrees. Should hear a nice sizzle like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and just push these down a little bit to make the surface nice and even so that it uh, fries evenly on both sides. So you know the oil is, is hot enough when it's not sticking. So if you can remove it really easy, you know you have the right temperature. And we're gonna cook for about a minute and a half on each side to sear up the goose real nice and to get the bacon nice and crispy. That's been about two and a half minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and Flip her over here and we see we got a nice caramelization with the bacon. That uh, black crust you see is from the smokehouse rub caramelizing, the brown sugars. We're gonna go ahead and cook it on this side for about another two minutes before we flip them and cook the sides. Now it's been about six minutes total, but as you can see, our bacon is nice and caramelized all the way around, nice and crispy. We're gonna go ahead and dish these up and get right to eating. You know, Executive Director Peter Kafkas is behind the camera today and he says, are you guys ready? I, food is in front of me. I, think, I don't think I'm ever as ready as when food is in front of me. We've got these goose bites wrapped and seared in bacon. They look unbelievable. Goose is a real lean meat, so it's gonna be a little more firm, but you don't have to cook it all the way through. What kind of sauces have we got here uh, today? We got a little uh, fresh uh, barbecue sauce and a little bourbon glaze. I think it would complement the bacon and the smokehouse rub really nicely. Uh, the bacon should be nice and crisp on the outside and the goose should be nice and tender on the inside. Well, I think it's time to try these guys. I'm gonna go with the bourbon glaze uh, just because it looks to be kind of teriyaki-ish, a little sweet sour, may, may have a... Uh, a little Jim Beam in there. It, it does, but that's cooked off. Let's cut right through these, and I wanna show you what I mean by the inside. Look at that. Don't overcook your goose, because you don't have to. You can eat it lean inside. All right, dip it in the sauce. Outstanding. Oh. Honestly, it tastes like the finest steak you could buy at the grocery store. Sweet, with a little bit of the sauce on it and crunchy bacon, salty on the outside. What a great job. Zero gamey flavor. Mm -mm. Not, not at all. It's, it's wonderful. Don't be afraid of goose when you're out in the field. What do you think, Danielle? <laughs> she just goes like that because her mouth is full. And I understand. What a great show. What a great goose hunt. Thanks to all the guys who are out there with us. Thank you, Jerry Garcia. This is to die for. Don't be afraid of your fowl. Cook it up and try it. We'll see you next time on Kill It, Clean It, Cook It. Holy cow, is that tasty. Peter, come in before I eat it all. Who always says goose is so gamey? There is not a gamey taste in there. They're scared of it, that's what it is. They mm. hear something. Mm. Again, mm -hmm. render that water out.